Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Problem 54, Gauss law, chapter 23. Figure shows in cross section two solid spheres with the uniform, uh, uniformly distributed charge throughout uh, their volumes. Each has radius capital R. Point P lies on a line connecting the centers of the spheres at radial distance R by 2 from the center of sphere 1. Uh, so, this point is at a distance of r by 2 from the center of sphere 1. If the net field at point P is 0, the, the, what is the ratio Q2 by Q1 of the total charges? Okay. Now, uh, for spheres, for solid spheres from problem number 44, from problem 44, I will give you the link in the description from problem 44 in case of a uniformly charged sphere okay in case of a uniformly charged sphere field inside is equal to gamma q divided by capital r cube into little r gamma q divided by capital r cube into little r if it is positively charged sphere then field direction is radially outward if it is negatively charged then field direction is radially inward and outside the sphere it behaves like a point charge located at the center so field is gamma q divided by r squared so this is field uh, inside the sphere this is field outside the sphere we'll be using these here now uh, field at point p due to sphere 1 if sphere 1 is having a charge of q1 and sphere 2 is having a charge of q2 uh, distance of point P from center of 1 is R by 2 that is given and distance of the same point P from the center of uh, sphere 2 is R from this point to this point from center to here R then from here to here R by 2 see this is total R R by 2 R by 2 so R plus R by 2 which is uh, 3 by 2 R okay so distance of point p from center of uh, sphere 1 is r by 2 and from center of sphere 2 is 3 r, 3 by 2 r now point p is lying inside sphere 1 and outside sphere 2 okay outside sphere 2 so uh, field due to 1 at this point field due to 1 field due to 1 uh, at this point p will be gamma q1 divided by r cube into little r which is r divided by 2 so this is gamma q1 divided by twice r squared 1 gets cancelled out gamma q1 divided by twice r squared and what is its direction if it is a positively charged uh, sphere i'll assume it to be positively charged for a while then field is radially outward this is the direction of e1 radially outward then field uh, at the same point due to sphere 2 now this point is lying outside the sphere 2 so sphere 2 will behave like point charge so E2 is gamma Q2 divided by R squared, which is 3 by 2 R, 3 by 2 R squared. So this is gamma Q2 divided by 3 squared is 9 R squared divided by 4, 4 I'll take upstairs, 4 gamma Q2 divided by 9 R squared. And if it is a positively charged sphere, then field is radially outward. So that is like this E2, E2. Now a couple of points here. We want net field to be 0 here at point P. For that, the two fields uh, have to be in opposite directions. And we are seeing that if the two are positively charged, they are in opposite directions. Same thing will happen if they are negatively charged. Then the directions will swap. This will be E1, this will be E2. So if the, if the spheres are having like charges, both are positive or both are negative, then field directions will be opposite. Okay, field directions will be up. But if they are like charges, one uh, unlike charges, one is positive, the other one is negative, then field directions will be same. If this is positively charged, then field direction will be radially outward, E1 will be rightward. And if this is negatively charged, then for this field direction will be radially inward, E2 will be in the same direction as that of E1. So they cannot be unlike charges, they have to be like charges for field to be zero here at point P. So one thing is clear, Q1 and Q2 are like okay q1 and q2 are like charges q1 and q2 are like charges so either both of them are positive or both of them are negative whatever there then again for the field to be zero field magnitudes have to be same e1 must be same in magnitude with e2 so for net field to be zero at point p 
for e to be 0, e1 must be same in magnitude with e2. Okay, so e1 we have already found is uh, gamma q1 divided by 2r squared gamma q1 divided by 2r squared is equal e2 is 4 times gamma q2 divided by 4 times gamma q2 divided by 9r squared 9r squared so certain things get cancelled out gamma and gamma goes r squared and r squared goes we're asked to find out q2 divided by q1 is it uh, yeah, Q2 divided by Q1 is equal to, so Q2 divided by Q1, 9 will go upstairs, so 9 divided by 4 will come downstairs, 2 is already there, so 4 into 2 is 8. So Q2 divided by Q1 is 9 divided by 8, okay, 9 divided by 8, which is 1.125 if you want to write it that way, 1.125. Now both charges are like charges, so ratio will remain positive. Okay, ratio will remain positive. Both are positive or both are negative. So ratio will continue to be positive 1.125. That's what we're asked to find out. Fine, that'll do for this session.